Welcome to another week of Ether Raids. This is Chaos Season. We are taking on uh, an Emblem Marth team, Emblem Ike team here uh, to start off the week. And this is actually a really nicely set up map here. I've been seeing a lot of this um, in terms of just having a defense that can go both ways um, and a dancer in the back to just increase the uh, complexity of how um, how strong the defense is and in terms of like just how you you're setting up to approach i really like this um this layout here oh, and pressure. it's also been on this map in particular um I'm a lot of people have been taking advantage of this lava tile in the middle here and uh, and the structure placement just to prevent anyone from sniping in the middle uh, i really like this map layout this is really really good um, my only concern is that some of the units here might not be the strongest, but then again, you can only use what you have in your barracks, so it's totally understandable. Um, but I think we should be able to advantage this with um, with Marth here, with Brave Marth. Um, 57. Hmm. Is Ashram bonus? I didn't realize it. I didn't think I had a bonus yes. unit on this team. That's why I brought Veil. <laughs> All right, well, if Ashram's bonus, that's cool. Um, I do need to upgrade his pit, actually. Uh, he needs a little bit of work. Uh, I was hoping to get like a, a better copy from uh, Binding Worlds, but no luck, no dice just yet. But we'll see what happens. I think this should be good enough um, in terms of abating from... Uh, we shouldn't get hit with any specials because of Veil. And then also, no one should be able to hit us, I think. The only one that I wanted to avoid here is Emblem Ike, um, because For the Marth would need a little bit of help to take him out. All right, so far so good. One, two. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! The dance gives extra movement. <laughs> oh, you caught me. Okay. Ah, that is Zora. Okay, yeah, you definitely caught me there. I completely yes. forgot about the plus one movement on the dance. So that was four spaces, mm -hmm. which means I should have blocked from here instead. Yikes. All right. GG's, man. That that definitely was a miscalculation on my part. I did not, I did not remember about that. All right. Here is our second attempt of the day at our first try. Uh, we're taking on another Japanese player here, and we're going to go with Marth yet again because I don't have any other teams that can handle this. Um, yeah, I need to set up like the rest of my teams here because I'm kind of uh, lacking. <laughs> I don't know. I think I need, like, uh, especially for something like this, either a far save or a range, range flyer team uh, to counteract this. Gatekeeper, maybe? I don't know. Mer, maybe. I don't know, but I definitely need something to... Plus 10, Camilla. That's nice. Ooh, I wanted to get like a highly invested Hinoka, but she's just not coming home. So plus two is all I got. But this is a really nice flyer line. Um, we're going to do a Marth thing. Uh, Marth will get his vantage off, but I think Never Hinoka doubt. will probably windsweep me because uh, Sabotage I will fight. plus just how fast she is. I think she's probably going to outspeed me, but that should be okay as long as she doesn't double me yes. uh, i should be fine um and then everyone else should be okay baby marth can't reach baby robin i mean can't reach and oh, chloe is that. also a little bit out of range as well i think I'm, I'm gonna have to bait chloe with um veil i think i'm gonna have to because uh i don't have enough spaces here to hide all of my units so Vale is going to have to do some tanking. It's either Vale or Astrum, and I don't want to tank with Astrum, Never so it's probably going to be Vale. Yeah, we're going to be doing some tanking with Vale. Uh, Astrum here is going to just be giving out the drives. Uh, I think I want to... How do I want to position this? Uh, because Peony needs to dance Marth since Vale is going to be doing some tanking. Uh, and Marth no. needs to break the structure and step up. He's going to be taking on the left side of the map pretty much um yeah uh, hmm you know what i was thinking i was actually thinking about um i was thinking about 
uh, the new well, the, the banner. And I was thinking, the reason that Embla is available now is because I just remembered that uh, Neefhager is more than Never likely going to be the book six midpoint, book whatever midpoint mythic. She's a far save or some type of save. And I remember she was incredibly tough. So that totally makes sense now because we're going to need some help in terms of like just beating her if she's going to be a defensive mythic or just a, a defense. No, she's definitely going to be a mythic, dark mythic more than likely. Yeah, we're going to need some help to be able to take her out. So it totally makes sense why Embla is available now, whereas it wasn't necessarily super necessary before. Um, because like, I remember, <laughs> yeah, that map was so hard when she was just sitting in the back. That was such a tough map to beat. Uh, I think I ended up having to use uh, armor effective damage or something to take her out, but it, it was really, really tough. So imagine her with bonus stats plus whatever her actual weapon is going to be. Uh, I think she'll probably get like a preferential save skill more than likely. Uh, kind of like Mer, um, and it's probably going to have sabotage and stuff in there. So you're going to need Embla to be able to take that out or to be able to avoid her entirely. And then even by Never herself, doubt. she's actually a really, really strong mm -hmm. Omni tank, kind of like Marth, dual Marth. So dual Byleth, my apologies. So yeah, I can totally see why Embla was released now. Let's see what Hanoka does here. Yep, I expected that much. At least I'm not getting doubles. More than likely because of Peony's dance. Vale, come on. Get the kill. Get the kill, Vale. Come on. Jeez, that's so much. Get the kill. By the Fell Dragon's power. Nice. <laughs> okay, awesome. Alright, so she's alive. Um, and we have Okay, Believe this is looking kind of dicey. <laughs> this is looking kind of dicey. Okay. 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 <laughs> Jeez. All right, cool. It's all good. No worries. Martha's that guy. <laughs> Yo, this is probably the best plus 10 investment. I One of the best plus 10 investments that I have. Oh my, I don't think he should have survived that. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, let's clean this up. Um, we're gonna have to figure out what to do with, um, because Charge is still online, which means, um, Baby Golvik can reach us. She has two choices. We have to dance Astrum. Astrum cannot kill her. He'll get hit twice and die. Um... So, move Astrum out of the way. I need to get the pots. Noka's a little bit further away. What do we do about trapping Noka? Hmm, what does that look like? Peony, Guidance, Bolt Trap. Hmm. I think, I think I see something. I think it'll work. I just need someone on the right hand side of her. I have enough units. One, two, three, four. That's the concern with this team. I don't have any range units, so it makes it kind of hard to get the pots. I mean, like, uh, range calves. So it makes it hard to get the pots with this team. Especially in a map like this where the pots are all the way in the back. I have to depend on someone. Um, being left behind. Very well then. Yeah, and crazy thing. First couple of maps, yes. no save units uh, because Embla is a thing in Chaos Season. A lot of people were pointing out to me that we haven't been like um, dying so far because of Embla being available as a choice in Chaos Season. It hasn't been like like a big deal uh, because you can use like Mythic Embla in Chaos Season. Um, but the thing is, a lot of the better defenses in Chaos Season don't use saves at all because one, you're limited to only one save, 
and two, yes. there's no point because you, you're going to need that extra range threat just to cover all the bases that you possibly can, even though it's only six, uh, a six unit team. Um, and you saw it here, even in this map, where uh, just because of the fact that he had all the lanes covered on the flare line, I had to be a little bit more creative in terms of my choice of approaching the map. Uh, whereas if there was a save unit there, then I probably would have, I probably would, oh, I definitely would have had that. another space that I could have just chilled out in, uh, and probably I wouldn't have had to tank that with Veil. So I, no I think that's probably going to spill over. Well, at least that's what I was saying. It's probably going to spill over into the other seasons in the sense that um, no more armored units. Like, fight. what's going to become of armored units? Aside from, like, once we see what Neath Hugger brings to the table in defense, because I don't see, like, how they're, or how they're going to release any other book six of or whatever book we're on, uh, midpoint mythic, um, unless they want to just throw a wild card in and release the one that flies instead because I think she's more than likely going to be offense. Uh, I don't see her as a defensive mythic, the one that flies. What's her name? I don't even remember. Um, here's the box that I was thinking about. So we go here with Astrum. We're going to nudge Veil up so that she can box um, uh, Hinoka in and then we're going to use Veil to get the pots. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take forever. But yeah, we're good here. No pass, so we don't have to worry. Um, but yeah, um, I don't see them releasing the one that can fly just yet. I think she'll come like further down uh, in the year. Even though like her, sk maybe she won't even get released at all because she's not that strong. Uh, just looking at where we are in terms of like mythic units, I don't see where she would fit in um, unless she's going to be like a better version of Embla. But she currently, like, even in the story, she doesn't have anything that's, like, super crazy on her weapon. So I don't see her. I, I think she might be this book's, uh, uh, this book's Elm. Uh, if you remember Elm from uh, Asker and uh, Embla's story, he didn't get released in uh, as a mythic unit. So, yeah, I think that's what might happen. But, yeah, we were able to close this out. Neath Harger is probably going to be showing up very soon. GG's. All right, here's our second match of the day, and we're taking on a, uh, a, a someone that I have on my friends list here, uh, Shamisha. Shamisha. Um, yeah, and I um, don't actually have a team specifically to deal with this. So I'm just going to try to hit and run this uh, as best as possible. This is going to take a lot of work uh, because the trap here is. Um, pretty nice one with baby robin involved and the aerial maneuvers on eldigan making him a uh, a warp beacon a aerial maneuvers plus guidance uh making him a warp be beacon plus he can just like move everywhere so that's like super annoying uh freya here to do his freya stuff although not really much that he's stopping me from doing uh I don't know, I probably would not... I don't think Freer is 100% needed here, but I guess uh, he's bulky, so why not? Um, and then Leon and Shamir as the primary um, nukes. Uh, I guess maybe... No, I, I can't figure it out. Um, debuffs and stuff, I guess, but... Robin would cl cleanse his own debuffs primarily, so it would probably um, not be too much of a hassle, I guess, for Robin. And then Elgard, since she's not able to counterattack, she's going to be able to get that scowl back up. Or she probably would have gotten the scowl back up anyways, but um, I don't think I'm going to be able to take out this brave, brave Elgard plus then Hardy Fighter. It's a pretty nice build. Um, so we're going to have to hit and run this, either with Kagero or with Leon. I'm not sure Understood. who is going to initiate here. Uh, I'm going to keep Micaiah somewhere off to the side. I kind of wanted to get Attackra's Oath, I'll but um, I don't have a copy Understood. of it. Uh, it's, I think it's only on Arvel, and I don't want to... I haven't gotten any Arvels to fodder, so we're just going to stick with what we have, which is the ploy, which also doesn't work right here since Freya is here, but the plus 10 true damage or the plus 10 extra damage wouldn't have done anything to Edelgard. Uh, because of the scowl, so it doesn't really matter. Um, always good to have a far safe 
in, a, yes. in, in on defense. Uh, not quite sure what Emblo will have to say about that in terms of like, I did see like a couple of people getting lucky, but I'm not quite sure like how big that majority is. But Banner is up for 30 days and a lot of people have that spark available. So I don't know, man. I, I'm not like <laughs> too enthusiastic about my chances on defense or my chances for people to not pull her. I think she seems like a priority unit on the banner. But again, we'll see. Um, that aside, uh, I think I'm going to put Micaiah somewhere off to the side. I might might have misplaced here because I need um, Ninian to help with a dance. Uh, because I do think I have a play in mind. But I'm going to need Ninian uh, to help out with her dance. So we're going to at least put Ninian here. And also, I was considering... I wasn't sure... Because Ninian is the only one that can self-refresh, it's an obvious choice to bring her, but the other option was to bring um, the horse Azura, the other, the other, the new horse, the attuned, (laughs) the attuned Azura. That was the other choice I was considering, but I I decided to just go with Ninian here because she has that self-refresh. I guess Azura could probably do the same thing with the Kanto, but in terms of what I'm planning, um, but, you know, potato, potato. Um, so essentially, I'm going to use uh, one of these two range units to initiate. Uh, and we're going to see what our odds are. Uh, in terms of the movement, I think Baby Robin will reach the furthest. Um, just because of the, the rally and the uh, self-refresh. Um, so I'm probably going to do this with Leon. Because it will lock the fastest unit here who is um uh dual shamir uh and then eldigan will be forced to dance her so that's like kind of a ma- manipulation of the dancer ai and then what will happen is that whoever moves first will um be the target What's of baby robin's rally uh rally assist Ooh nothing out of Kagura. <laughs> all right never mind we'll uh that's this isn't necessarily her job taking out edelgard isn't necessarily her job here uh, so that's you. totally fine uh so we're gonna run all the way away I can hardly wait. <laughs> okay so this is good to see so we have um options Leave to take out to edelgard us. on the following turn since the scowl isn't back Show up me what to do. if she had um breath effects to get the scowl back up this probably would have been way more annoying because i wouldn't have been able to kill her I don't think. But since he isn't going to be able to get the skull back up, we'll I'm just going to run all the way away. And um, in the event that Baby Robin, I think he might be the one to get the furthest. Oh, because Leon turn. will move, not be able to get Dance. Um, Freya will also move. And then Edelgard will move. But I don't know where Baby Robin Understood. will fit into that movement hierarchy. Um, but I definitely think he's going to rally. And he is going to be able to hit the spot where my Kagero is. Um, so I'm probably going to have to leave Leon there since he has the most chance of surviving uh, or even getting a kill because of his um, damage effect. Yep, there it is. Oh, okay. Not the order that I anticipated. I, I kind of expected Shamir to go the other way. That's why I put Makai over there, because I wanted Makai to get the kill on Shamir. But this is okay, too. Maybe. We'll see. And then we get that, because no Mythic buffs. If there were Mythic buffs, we probably wouldn't have been able to get that. Oh, this is just the worst. Okay, so they're all in a line. Well, the problem is, they're in a line along Edelgard, so I don't get to snipe anyone. I have to take Edelgard before I can do anything. And then, there's two dual units here. I do my best. I get the kill, we'll make a but Kagero can't do anything, and Dagger is a little bit too far away. Um. And so is Makaya. Makaya would have been able to get the kill on that Edelgard, I'm pretty sure, but she's too far to get the kill. Uh, hmm, if only I had the oath on her, it would have worked out in my favor there. Uh, attack with oath, or just some way to get extra movement. Alright, so Eldigan is all the way in the back, so draw them in. Pots are the priority. And I also need to kill Freyr because I don't have anything that can tank him. Really? And I need to kill Leon, at least. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that we can lock out 
I will do my best. Um, dual Shamir. Well, no, didn't she get locked last turn? Can we? Yeah, I think we can lock her again. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we can lock Dual Shamir again. Uh, we can take out Edelgard and Freyr. And I hope Kagero can, can take out the enemy Dual Leon because you can do it. if she can't, then I'm short one unit. So let's see what happens here. There's the lock. We'll stay right here so we can get danced. Okay. All right, that's bad. <laughs> oh man, 32. I was really hoping she would do way more damage than that. Um, uh -huh. Is there any way to get more damage out of her? Maybe if she had uh, like the wind. eight, she'd get blue buffs to attack and speed, but she'd probably eat the, the dark shrine, so it wouldn't matter. Uh, the bright shrine, so it wouldn't matter. I was Understood. thinking of um, Kavacer's C you. skill. Um, so we're gonna have to use the Leon here somehow to take out the enemy Leon or Freyr. I, will do my I think Leave I think taking us. out Freyr is the best really? best option here. And then instead of attacking the enemy Leon with Kagero, I can attack with um, my dagger. And then okay, okay, I think I see a play. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think I see a play here. Two dual units. Take out both dual units. Dual button on Freyr. Lock Freyr, we'll take out Freyr next turn. Yeah, I think I see the play here. Um, so Kagero was going to stay here. The only other option would be to repo Makaya, but Makaya is a little bit too far, so... This idea is going to be the best one. Um, Let us see. Take out Freyr from... Oh, well, take out... We're going to take out um, Leon. And then... Leave it to us. Well, no, not Leon. We're going to take out um, Duo Shamir with Leon. And then um, we're going to use Dagger to take out the enemy Duo Leon. And then... Um, Everything should be okay, I think. <laughs> um, we're going to have our dual button available to close this off. So Leave it to us. here we go. Um, first move is dagger with the attack. Like the wind. I was really hoping that would have been two hits because that would have meant that I would have gotten Gale Force and I would have more options. But the one shot doesn't completely ruin things. Let's go. It's still it's still okay. Um, to do this but it's just unfortunate and also she has the hush spectrum really? plus guard so hmm. maybe it wouldn't matter I wouldn't get the, uh, the acceleration anyways to get the gale force off so yeah it's fine we're just going to attack um, the dual Leon and then um, yeah that'll be that uh yeah, yeah, we're going to do this. And here. And then this. And this is the perfect play. So this should also lock Eldigan. Um, because he's in three spaces of this. Well, is it three spaces? Whatever amount of spaces from Shamir. So Eldigan gets locked. And we're going to do a... Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, talk about a busted... Yo, this yes. unit is super toxic. Oh my god. <laughs> and there we have it. Problem solved. My god, that was actually super hard. I don't think I had another option there to get out of this successfully. And um, we just... Wow. <laughs> Made that look a lot easier than it was. That was actually so, so hard. Um, yeah, we get the pots here and... Um, gonna get some kills with Makaya because Makaya needs the kills um, and uh, then we get the other pot and we close out the map whoa <laughs> all right so this is where uh, these were two really hard maps to start off the week I typically get something a little bit easier man jeez but uh, yeah we start the week with uh, some challenging stuff here I definitely got to do some adjustment with my team because 
Uh, I was looking at my or well, the team I ran last year last season, which is the Ike team, and there's no way that I can run an Ike team in this season because Ike doesn't have enough, enough or at least mine on merge, no dragon flowers. He doesn't have enough bulk to live any hits, so it would be pointless to run him um, without the um, the extra support. Uh, even if I was support, even if I was supposed to, even even if I supported him with uh, Lumera. We won't he wouldn't fail. have the book necessary Indeed. to live most things because what What's I only have like 46 now? health and that's just not enough um, uh -huh. for how, how hard the nukes are hitting these days so yeah I'll we're gonna take out Freer here Eldigan like can't reach and Understood. I will take out Eldigan on the following turn as the last unit just to give Makaya a chance to shine here Definitely wanted to get the attack res oath, or at least really? attack speed oath. I don't think I have a copy of that available, actually. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, after that last match, uh, I was really just thinking of like ways um, to improve we'll make a um, I'll draw them in. My, my sword unit that I use, the one with bonus doubler. But I think I'm, I'm just going to hold off piece. for a little while. The fodder is just too expensive, man. I just can't imagine... Gambit, man. We need, like, Gambit access in the regular pool or something, but I don't know, man. GG's. Uh, this was a really fun one. See you in the next match.